Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Resin by Vanessa. Here I will be showing you how to make a 3D resin flower with layered petals. Now this was my second time trying this technique out and I am in love with the results. I will be doing this voiceover explaining um, the steps and the products that I use. Everything will be linked down below and can be found on my Amazon storefront. And I will mention that I do earn a small commission every time you purchase something from my storefront. Um, but that is another way that you can help support my small business and help me continue doing what I love to do. Now first I start off by spraying alcohol onto the mold. I do find this to be very helpful with the bubbles when I pour down um, resin. Now here I have mixed a two-part epoxy. The resin that I use is Maker Epoxy from Total Bolt. And no, this video is not sponsored by them. But I would like to add that Maker Epoxy from Total Bolt is the best resin that I have used. And I have tried quite a few of them already. Now that I've poured my first layer, I will mix the colors off camera. The colors I decided to go with were pink and white. And then for the middle part of the flower, it'll be a silver glitter. Now here you watch me pour the resin into a small Ziploc bag, which is what I had in hand. But I would recommend the decorating bags, the ones that you use to pipe icing from. I think those would be easier to handle than this than a smaller Ziploc bag. Now that the resin has set a little bit, I will add silver glitter into the middle of the coaster. Now off camera, I do cut a small hole into the Ziploc bag so that I can pour the resin and make a flower-like design onto the coaster mold. Now here I would recommend that the resin set a bit because mine was a little too runny. So it was kind of hard to make this design. As you can see, a blob just drips right there. And I wiped off the excess from the tip. I go in again, make a second layer. I'm trying my best not for there to be blobs on there. A third time around. And then one more time. Towards the end, I add some more to the middle just to get rid of that space. Now, trust the process. I know it doesn't look too pretty here, but wait for the results at the end. And I did decide to go into the middle with some silver glitter. a different angle so that I'm not covering everything <laughs> with my hand and I just set that aside now I just would like to mention that the resin by Vanessa tag here um, below is from coffee tea and crafts on Instagram I'll put her Instagram below so it's looking a little prettier. I see the colors fading a bit, which is good. And here I go in with my heat gun. Notice how I have a heat gun just far enough to fade the colors together. And this is... Um, Part of what helps see that flower at the end. And 
and the color does darken up a bit. And then here I start demolding it little by little. Now it does look a little, a little bendy here because I took it out before it finished curing and this is the final product. Thank you so much for watching.